Hi, in this video I will share with you my journey, how I passed AZ900 exam without any previous cloud experience. I will share with you all the materials that I use, study methods and how I got discount that reduced the price of my exam to zero. AZ900 was my first Azure cloud certification, my basic fundamentals exam that I used to later on build my knowledge to get some more and more advanced uh, certifications such as AZ700 that I talk about here and also some further certification that I would like to take in the future. If you like this video, please subscribe because it will ultimately help me to create better materials for you and better response to what are your needs and what further materials I should create. In the first part of the video, I would like to explain why AZ900, even though it is a basic slash starting level certification, it's still worth to take it. So in my case, I was seeking for a way to kick off my journey with cloud computing and DevOps tools ecosystem. I was looking for a course that give me a solid base for further development and specialization, such as, for example, networking or security that I intend to take later this year. For that, AZ900 is a perfect as it gives you a holistic overview of the different services on Azure. If you want to kick off your cloud slash DevOps journey, then you can choose between different starting sets, such as, for example, Azure Fundamentals that I discuss here, AWS Cloud Practitioner or Google Cloud Certifications. As I live in Nordics, here Azure has the most of the cloud market. So I decided to take Microsoft training path. As we can see on my Microsoft website, it measures your skills in cloud fundamentals domains such as, for example, cloud concepts, Azure architecture and services, and Azure management and government. When we look deeper in Azure fundamentals describe cloud concepts segment, we can see topics such as what is cloud computing, cloud models, and for example, the benefits of using clouds. So these are really the basics if you would like to grow your career further in the cloud or DevOps. My favorite though was absolutely uh, Azure architecture and services because it gives you really a holistic overview on what Azure offers. So we have, for example, describing physical infrastructure, management infrastructure, networking services, virtual desktop, containers, functions, hosting options. So these are the tools that you will be using in future once you will land your job as a cloud or DevOps engineer. Following that, we also have the storage services, identity, access, and security. Here under the identity, access, and security, we have authentication methods, conditional access, role-based access control, zero trust model, defense in depth. So these are all very relevant concepts if you want, for example, later on, go towards more cloud security or uh, cloud administrator positions. So just to wrap it up, for me, AZ900 was an excellent starting point because it is very relevant on the market. Azure is a very relevant technology on the market. And secondly, the knowledge is also very much useful later on in my cloud journey. To pass the AZ900, you need to achieve a minimum score of 700 out of 1000. I scored, I think, about 850, so it was quite a successful result. I got about 50 or 40, 40 questions, I don't remember now but I had no laps, only ABCD questions and then also some drag and drop. It was really pleasant exam and I really much enjoy taking it. Now I will talk about how did I study for the exam. It basically took me two months after work to study the material. First of all, I used a course by freecodecamp.org on YouTube and the material is called Azure Microsoft Azure Fundamental Certification course AZ900 updated passed the exam in eight hours it is a very comprehensive and solid work on materials needed to understand Azure cloud concepts such as core Azure services pricing SLA life cycles and the fundamentals of cloud security privacy compliance and trust you will learn all of these things in that course Second thing is, I think, very popular among people that study for the Microsoft exams, 
which is Microsoft Learn page. Microsoft Learn offers free of charge materials to study for the AZ900. You start with the general concepts, like for example, what is cloud, and then you go deeper into the knowledge um, that is related to security, networking, or any other concept that you would need to understand in more depth. Last but not least, and this was actually my favorite and the most important source of my learning, which was Azure portal. Even though there are no labs during AZ900, it was crucial to me to work with the services, manage it, configure it or troubleshoot it. It really gives you better and deeper understanding on Azure and available services. So what you can do as a sort of basic lab, you can, for example, spin up the virtual machine, you can set up DNS, you can create some virtual network, you can try to configure firewall, um, you can, for example, build two different networks and connect them with uh, VPN. These are really uh, concepts that will be helpful to you to better understand what the exam will be asking you, you will already have a hands-on experience with the services. The next part, which is I think very interesting to all many of you, which is vouchers and how to avoid paying for the exam. I didn't have to pay anything for the exam because I attended Microsoft virtual training days and here Microsoft posts a lot of trainings of the for the platforms including Azure. What I needed to do is just I need to go to the class and then after I attended I was eligible for the voucher. Unfortunately indeed the discount voucher offer for Microsoft virtual training day has been already discontinued since last year so all the trainings that we have there now on the website are most are only for the training purposes so you will not get any voucher even though you will attend the uh, trainings it is still though um, possible to avoid uh, paying full price for the exam by attending the uh, microsoft cloud skill challenge uh, where you have some specific tasks to accomplish within some uh, specific time frame and by progressing with the task and successfully finishing it you'll be eligible to get a discount for your exam and i really encourage you to look at this page and see what might be uh, challenges the challenges that you find um, interesting to you because there are a lot of different ones when it comes for the exam itself i took one in the testing center and i use person view page to register book a time and uh, select the language of my exam i took the um, exam in english i once again i had no labs but uh, even though i regret a bit as it these are my really favorite part of uh, of asia which is labbing and doing the hands-on uh, stuff. I found exam quite well easy as it is a starting level, it's a beginner level set so it's a not advanced senior architect uh, level examination. The questions weren't exactly speaking straightforward but they were actually on the easier side. Half a year later I took AZ700 which is the networking certification and I can tell you that the level of the associate certifications is much more advanced comparing to the fundamentals one so if you would like to go for more advanced certifications such as networking administrator security devops or architects i would strongly strongly recommend to first jump to fundamentals and only based on that start to build your uh, managing infrastructure configuration uh, configuration of the infrastructure knowledge to the point that you'll be able to take for example architect or devops exam uh, last but not least, some tips. First of all, as I already said, do some labs. I strongly recommend you to really um, open your account on Azure, start to configure, start to move around, start to, conf start to play around with the different services. It will help you tremendously du during the exam to have much better understanding, deeper understanding of what you've been asked. Please remember that AZ900 is the uh, introduction sort of fundamentals uh, level the certification so if even if you are for example have some specialization already if you are for example network engineer such as i am for example or security engineer administrator the fundamentals level is not really about the specialization it is about the holistic sort of introduction to the cloud 
it's not really about diving deeper into for example configuring firewall or other any other security concepts so please be mindful that this is the certification that it will help you to better understand understand different services in azure or how azure work together with the profile services or uh, slas pricing management groups rather than specialization exam these ones are later on on your development path so for example you can go from here to networking to administrator to security and later on to devops to architect or any other path that you would like to take in your journey well and i think that's it thank you very much for watching i really enjoy making these episodes for you if you have any questions any drop me a comment and please remember to subscribe because it's very important for the further development of this channel thanks